Hey, what's up? I'm Heidi Osborne, and I'm about to show you my super quick and easy five to 10 minute, depending on your speed, daily makeup routine for the super lazy girl, or if you woke up late and you're in a rush out the door. Hello, fresh morning au naturel. So starting with clipping my bangs back, and I'm going in with Urban Decay's Primer Potion, as is kind of the industry standard. Next, I've got my newest holy grail product. It is the Tartist, Tardiest. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but in any case, it is the highlight and contour palette, and it's amazing. So I'm taking the matte contour shade and just sweeping it all over my lid, a little bit above my crease since I have hooded lids, so that that color really shows. And now I'm going in with the deepest shimmer shade and popping it on the outer corner and repeating on the other eye, and then after that, I'm gonna grab the lighter shimmer shade and pop it on the inner corner just to add some depth dimension and some shine to my eyes to really open them up and make them pop, right? Now I've got my very detailed brush and adding some of those light shades to my inner tear duct and a little bit to the lower inner tear duct as well. And then going back in with that matte contour shade again and popping it right underneath the outer corner of my lower lash line. Va va voom, va va voom. Real quick, just gonna give it one more sweep of a blend. Now I'm grabbing my NYX Super Skinny Marker. It's wonderful, it's like a Sharpie with healthier ingredients for your eyes. It is so precise and it gives the thinnest lines and it is so easy to use. You are going to love it. I'm not going super thick with the line, actually very thin, just to make my lashes look thicker and my eyes look a little bit bigger and more defined. But since this is a day look, I'm not adding any wings or going very thick in the least. But that's why this marker is so phenomenal, because it is able to give as thick or as thin of a line as precisely as you desire. Now I'm grabbing my lash curler. And in an upwards and outwards motion, I'm sweeping my lashes up to give them a little bit more curly, eye-opening goodness. And grabbing my mascara, just doing one swell coat right over top real quick. And I'm not going on the bottom lashes because at the end of the day, they just end up uh, smudging under my eye. Now I'm grabbing a taupey eyeshadow powder to fill in my brows. Any taupey eyeshadow powder will do. This one is from Inglot, but use whatever you have. Use whatever your favorite brow products are. For me, my brows are already pretty thick, so I just need a little bit of filling in here and there, but I know some people like to um, really go to town on their eyebrows, but not me, especially on a daily basis. All right, so I just grabbed my hands on this Burt's Bees BB Cream. It's a brand new thing for me. I have two shades. I have the light as well as the light medium. And oh, I forgot to pop on some of my favorite NARS concealer just right underneath the eyes to make me look a little bit more awake. Cover that blue underneath my eyes. Anyways, back to Burt's Bees. So I popped some of the light shade on the high points of my face to add kind of a bit more highlight. And then I'm going to grab the light medium shade for the rest of my face. I found the light is still a little bit too light for me. This was actually my first time using the Burt's Bees BB Cream. And on a daily basis, honestly, I wouldn't even use foundation. I'm a believer in letting my skin breathe on the daily and not smothering it with product. The more natural my skin, the better off and the healthier it is. Uh, healthy skin is more about the internal organs, <laughs> what you eat, your lifestyle, your exercise habits, your water intake, that all affects your skin so much, and what you put on it as well. So in my opinion, less is more. Have a healthy lifestyle, but for the sake of this video, I went in with my brand new Burt's Bees BB Cream. And now I'm once again grabbing my new Holy Grail contour and highlight palette, and I'm going in with that contour shade and just hitting those cheekbones, hitting the jawline, hitting the forehead, really warming up the skin and adding some depth and dimension back to my face after the BB cream really took it away, especially because it was just a little bit too light for my skin, I would say. And there we go. So yeah, more about this palette. 
Ah, oh, it's the ultimate Lazy Girl palette because you literally can use it on your eyes and your face and it'll really make your face and eyes come together like they're all meant to be a part of each other and they're not separated, if that makes any sense. And you have literally every color you need. Like, I use every single shade in that palette except for the cream contour, I haven't used that yet. But I use every single shade in there on both my eyes and my face. So you really can't go wrong with that investment, honestly. And Vavin, I think I'm done. I think. Get a little wild and crazy. And I think I'm good. Just gonna double check everything real quick right now. Ah, I wanna make a couple changes. I got another minute. I don't need to race out the door quite yet. So I'm just going to conceal a few little spots and really get into that inner corner eye area where my eyes tend to have a lot of blue shading. And a few more spots there. Conceal. Oh, and I almost forgot lip gloss. No, you can't go out the house without your lip gloss. And let's just put a little bit more of that highlight on, eh? The cheekbones, the nose, the cupid's bow, the chinny chin chin, because everybody wants to glow. There you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Keep shining your light from inside and be bold. Be bold. Don't do what you're meant to do today. What do you want to do today? What have you been putting off for the last week? Go do that thing. Just do it. Alright. Love you guys. Bye.